Welcome back, another one for you today. Gonna be installing the FP3, the fuel pack by Vance and Hines on my 2020 Electra Glide. <laughs> Guys, I just finished installing the Vance and Hines 2 to 1 Pro Pipe and now putting the fuel pack in so I get the total performance with the new airflow and the new fueling needed. Obviously, with the new pipe, there's different airflow, different fueling needed, so I need a different mapping. That's why I, I picked up this uh, Vance and Hines fuel pack, the FP3. So I get the proper uh, map. I'm gonna be going through uh, their custom map that they have that is set up for specifically that pipe. And I'm also gonna do the auto-tune feature, which uh, pretty much is leaving the pack on, on the bike and running it for a month. It measures performance, it measures different RPMs, different flows, and gives you the best uh, pack that is custom and specific to your bike. So we'll go through that uh, later on. Now, why is a fuel pack even needed? Why do you need a tuner? Well, when the bike comes out of a Harley Davidson, it's pretty much tuned for to meet emission uh, regulations, which is uh, burning of the fuel, and you're not getting the max uh, potential out of your bike. So if you do wanna get you know, what the bike is really built for, you definitely need to do a tune, even if you don't change any anything on the bike itself. Just giving it a right tune would bring up that efficiency of the Milwaukee 8. Way, way higher, get more power, more torque out of it. Especially if you've just done some work on the bike, like change the pipe, change the air intake, cam, of course. The whole characteristics of the bike of this uh, Milwaukee 8 has changed. And to get the, the, the max potential out of the engine, you definitely need to you know, tune it so you get the right parameters out, change uh, the airflow, the mixture, the amount of fuel that go is, goes in, the, uh, the throttle response, the temperature that uh, the, the engine is actually uh, running. So you definitely need to tune the bike to get the max out of this beast. As this is the fuel pack by Vance and Hines FP3. Left side cover, side cover needs to come off. And this needs to be open, of course. <laughs> the right model, this, in my case, it's a six pin. When you order, make sure that it fits your bike. That's how it comes. Little piggyback. Fuel pack, piggyback ride, and little pamphlet installation guide, very easy. Absolutely need to download the fuel pack app first. Take the six plug. Six pin, it's a six, six pin. Yeah, great plug. And what are you laughing at? Take it, it's on the left side, and just plug it in. Let's have it uh, hanging on there, just for now. Key, key on. Just do start, not start it. Do not start the engine. I'm following, actually, the instructions right here. I don't wanna mess up. Supposed to have a green light eventually. I'm gonna run through the app and uh, connect the phone uh, to the pack itself. Now, first thing, Start the ignition and start the kill switch over here. What I'm gonna do is go to the phone. I'm gonna talk about the and the uh, iOS, the Apple uh, system. I go into uh, my settings, into the Bluetooth settings, and co initial connection uh, connecting uh, with the phone. You search uh, for the device over here. What's gonna pop up is uh, pretty much something says VIN, which is over here in my case. That's my VIN connected that's my vin now we go to the uh app itself fuel pack search for the fuel pack app okay this is what you're going to see the first time you start it it's going to check for a firmware update now if your fuel pack is up to date there's going to be no problem usually uh you're going to see a uh, firmware update uh, needed or uh, found and you click update and it's going to go through a process of uh, literally uh, updating the firmware from uh, the internet, from your phone to the pack. Once that is done, you'll come to this, uh, to this screen. On this screen, you go to search for a map. Now this is the basic, uh, the basic operation. Now on this screen, you can actually find uh, sets and uh, maps that were uh, tested, dyno-tuned 
uh, with Advance and Heinz. And of course, you choose your pipe. So in my case, Vance and Heinz, go choose the pipe. Uh, and we choose, there you go, found Pro Pipe uh, Chrome Black. Uh, so switch that, select that, and we go to the uh, baffle that we have. We have uh, the standard baffle, choose the standard baffle. And uh, it shows you from the Turing models, it shows Vance and Heinz Pro Pipe Chrome Black or black or chrome, standard baffle, stock 107 with high flow air filter. So in our case, uh, I didn't change actually the, the air filter. And that's where the auto-tune would probably uh, come into effect because the map they have, this custom, the map that they, that they dynoed uh, will be for uh, the high, uh, high flow air intake. Uh, and performance will be close enough, but not, not exactly the same. That's why they tell you to actually start with this. Uh, they literally tell you if you only change your pipe, use uh, the high uh, the high flow air intake, and with auto tune it will tweak and give you the the optimal mapping for it. So now that we chose that, and uh, we need to apply the map. Program bike with this map. Click this. It gives you all the information that's needed. Make sure it's the right one. And now program. Once you click that. It says, uh, read the warning, uh, but go ahead and click continue. And this, at this stage right now, it's going to send the map that comes on the fuel pack and send it to the ECU on your motorcycle. It's transferring the map. And once it's done, it's going to tell you to turn off the bike for 30 seconds. Flashing new map to bike, as you can see right now. What it's doing, it's taking the, the map that it has in its... Uh, on the fuel pack itself that you chose and it sends it to the ECU, it programs the ECU, it flashes it and now pretty much it's telling you to uh, uh, turn the bike off. So literally switch to off and wait for 30 seconds. This actually has a countdown on the top over here. Once uh, that you meet that 30 seconds, it's going to tell you to turn the, the switch back on and it's pretty much going to flash, put the, the like save in the memory on the ECU, the new map that you just chose. There you go. Now it's asking you to turn the bike switch back on turn the switch back on the bike the bike's ECU is going to be flashed with the new map that we just downloaded there you go now you see the map is actually the, the, the app is showing the map was transferred the map uh, and it asks you to share social media whatever you're done and now the bike is going to run beautifully as I've said already before, as you've seen in the map, they don't have the option for the pro pipe with the standard air intake. And that's why they tell you to use the high flow air intake. That's why you want to consider using uh, the AutoTune because it's going to actually pick up all the data and information while you're riding and create and tweak a map that will be specific to your configuration. That's what I'm going to do, uh, put it on AutoTune. So that's it for now, guys. A quick install of the Fuel Pack Vance and Hind Fuel Pack 3. Easy, simple, plug and play with a little bit uh, playing around with the application. Whew, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll tell you what, this one was a killer running between the camera, uh, voice recorder, and the screen record. That it was a killer. I took about like 28 different takes. But hope it was informative and you enjoyed this video and you learned something. I appreciate it at this stage if you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel and want to watch more of my videos, go ahead and click that beautiful subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell to get notifications every time I put out a new video. I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Peace out.